Ah, uh, special delivery. Arguably the most forgettable entry in the FNAF franchise. And it doesn't help that the developers of the game, the Lumix, have abandoned it for a while now. While the game is dead, there is still a lot of lore in the game that ties into security breach. How? Let me show you. So what do we know about FNAF AR and the surface? Well, after the release of FNAF Help Wanted, Fazbear Entertainment wanted to make a service that sends real animatronics, based on a variety of Fazbear characters, to people's houses for parties and birthdays. They create the Fazbear Funtime service, and they outsource the creation of the animatronics to another company. A virus then gets a hold on the system and the animatronics, and it makes them act aggressive and try to kill the customers. And that's the basic story. But how did this all happen? How did the glitch get in the system? And what happened to the Fazbear Funtime service after that? A lot of these answers comes from the emails located in the game files. While it was never officially released, I think it's still relevant to the lore. The email tells the story of the company that made the AR animatronics for the special delivery service. And it covers how the glitch got in the system and what happened after that. So in this video, I will go through all of the emails and show you the story of this game. Let's now cover the prologue emails. Prologue Part 1 So as you can see here, these seems to be shipment logs of multiple robotic parts, most probably animatronic parts for the company that's making them. Prologue Part 2 An email from Lisa Jameson Jimmy, hate to be a pest, but we still haven't received our last parts delivery. Do you have a revised ETA? Then Jimmy responds, Hey Lisa, not sure what happened, but the computer says the delivery was already made. I'll investigate from my end and get back to you. Jimmy Hawes, DLZ Shipping Solutions Lisa No response, nothing. The shipment is now over three days late. Can we please touch bases? I had the office look into the missed shipments and they're insisting it was delivered. Even showed me the delivery receipts. I am staring at the signature of the receipt right now. Don't know what more I can do. Jimmy Hawes, DLC Shipping Solutions. It seems that the shipments have been delayed for an unknown reason. Lisa. Thanks for sending the replacement parts, by the way. They just got here this morning. Are you guys using a new supplier? The registry numbers are all smudged and illegible. Jimmy. I hate to admit this, but I have no idea what you're talking about. I tried to authorize a replacement shipment but corporate told me no more shipments until your next scheduled shipment. Are you sure the shipment was actually from us? Jimmy Hawes, DLC Shipping Solutions. So if Jimmy didn't send replacements, then these are the original shipment, but clearly someone has done something to it. Lisa, Jimmy, we've run into a problem over here, and hoping you can help with it, or at least point me to someone who can, the animatronics are responding to all security codes as promised, but now they are refusing to leave the warehouse no matter what overrides we sent them. The guys are getting a little creeped out to be honest, swearing that the animatronics eyes are always watching them and they're moving on their own after dark. Jimmy Technical support said to reassure you that there's absolutely no chance the animatronics are moving on their own without explicit command codes being relayed to them. Maybe your guys just need a vacation. Jimmy Hawes, DLC Shipping Solutions. So the parts that did arrive had a negative effect on the animatronics. The shipment was definitely tampered with. Lisa. I need a favor from you, Jimmy. You have to get these things out of here. These animatronics just aren't working out the way we thought they would. My night shift guys are now refusing to come to work for their shifts. One of them swore the Bonnie animatronic ate the shop president's stray cat. 
that's not even possible, is it? Miss Jameson, I regret to inform you that as of this morning, Jimmy Hawes is no longer an employee of DLC Shipping Solutions. Until we can arrange a suitable replacement, I will be acting as your liaison. On the question of refunds, please review the sales terms portion of the contract and note that it explicitly states that all sales are final. James Strand, VP of General Operations of DLC Shipping Solutions. Alright, that's the prologue. Let's now move on to the main story emails. Staff Advisory Mail Server To all staff from Fazbear Entertainment Office of Legal Affairs Due to technical complications, our mail service may be directing email to incorrect recipients. If you receive an email that is not addressed to you, please forward it to the intended recipient and notify the IT department immediately. As a friendly reminder, Reading emails that was not intended for your eyes is a violation of Fazbear Entertainment's company policy, and you may be subject to disciplinary action up to and including immediate termination. That policy remains in effect. Please do not read emails that is not your own. Thank you for your cooperation as we resolve this technical complication. Oops. No subject. To Nessie97. From Lewis. Hey Ness, I hope you're having a good day. It's no big deal, but I wanted to reach out off the radar and remind you about the company policy about personal internet usage. Nobody cares if you're online shopping as long as you get your work done. I promise I've done my share of last minute gift buying, but certain words and phrases trigger red flag reports. So your last order got automatically sent to me. Basically anything mentioning torture is going to raise the alarm. So although the Viking Blood Eagle 12 month calendar you ordered is very cool, the searches that got you there did trigger a red flag. If you have any questions about the policy, let me know. We could even get a coffee or something and go over all the words to avoid. And now I've raised my own red flag. Good thing I'm the one who gets the notification. We now see a conversation between Ness and Lewis. Ness, of course, is short for Vanessa. It seems that Louis has a liking to Vanessa. Now we switch perspective to another conversation by two people. No subject. To Raha Salib. From Mark Chow. These things are creeping me out. Raha. Seriously, we don't have room for them. I don't know why Anna agreed to take this job. Mark. Chiching. Raha. More like Ching. Mark. Lol. It seems these two are involved with the company that makes the animatronics. Possibly even a different company than the one in the prologue. Like how Help Wanted had two different developers. We again switch to a different conversation. Can I use power tools to Anna Quipto? From Daniel Rocha. Hey Anna, the casings on the animatronics are really hard to get off. Can you approve me to use the power drill? Best Dan. Anna. No. Daniel. Please, I'm serious. I can't get the casing off without it. Anna. Ra is the only one certified. Quit asking. Come drill for me. To Raha Salib. From Daniel. Need to get the circuit boards out. Anna says you're the only one who can use the power drill. Raha. 15 minutes. Again, we switch to a different conversation. System glitch to Raha, Anna, Mark, Daniel from Steven Wilson. Hey guys, I just got kicked off the system. I finished scanning the last set of circuit boards Dan brought me, but now I'm locked out. Is anyone else getting this unknown error? Anna, no. An error occurred after scanning a circuit board. Hmm. Immediate action required to Anna from Fazbear Entertainment Office of Legal Affairs. Dear Ms. Quemto, please immediately cease all work on Fazbear Entertainment properties. Due to unforeseen circumstances, Fazbear Entertainment is ordering a halt to work on all existing contracts, especially in reference to any vintage hardware. We will be in touch regarding our future course of action. Please contact our billing departments regarding payment for completed work-to-date action. 
Sincerely, Kayla Stringer, Associate General Counsel, Fazbear Entertainment. I think Fazbear's did an oopsie again. No subject. To Vanessa. From Lewis. Hey Ness, just a quick FYI. I know I mentioned trigger words, but the AI is actually a little more sophisticated than that. And of course, there are people like me watching the system too. So, the word compliance by itself isn't going to set off any red flags, but the sentence how to induce compliance in human subjects and how to induce self-compliance did actually get my attention. I think the answer might involve chocolate chip cookies. Always works on me. I also thought it was strange that these were immediately followed by searches that couldn't possibly have any relevant answers for you. Did you search up for help by itself? Anyway, my offer still stands if you want to go over at the company policy. I'm free any day after work. We could grab dinner or coffee if you want. In the meantime, you might want to do some of your more interesting research at home. Lewis We see that Vanessa is struggling with her hold on her own mind. System Glitch To Anna, Steven, Mark, Daniel From Raha Steve which circuit boards did you scan? Steven. Wherever Dan brought me. Anna. Fazbear's just ordered us to stop working. It sounds like they're halting work with all their contracts. Not just us. They said they'll be in touch about our future course of action. Steven. Anna, are we still getting paid for this? Anna. For work to date only. Make sure you have everything logged. No subject. To Raha from Mark. It'll be okay. We have other contracts. Raha. Yeah, but this was a big job. Mark. Sad face. It looks like the animatronic development and delivery is now on hold. No subject. To Vanessa from Lewis. Hey Ness, I wanted to see if you're doing okay. I appreciate your taking my advice about red flag search terms. If I thought I'd have to file an incident report on you, I think I'd just have to quit instead. So, my student loans thank you. I do have to keep checking online activity periodically after getting a red flag report, and I was a little worried maybe something is going on with you. One day you're researching flowers and the migration patterns of bees. Fascinating, right? And the next day you're typing how far can a human being be cut in half before losing consciousness. I figured maybe you're writing a screenplay or something, but it was a little startling to see it written out. I hope you know I'm always here if you need me. Lewis Virus detected. To Raha, Mark, Anna, Steven. From Daniel. Turns out that wasn't just a glitch. We released a virus when we scanned that last circuit board. It's spreading really fast. We're going to need all hands on deck. It's pretty clear that Steven Wilson scanned the same circuit board that has the Malhair virus, like help wanted. Like help wanted, that results in Malhair taking control of the system. That is also hinted towards the fact that in the game's trailer, Malhair has a brief appearance. No subject. To Vanessa. From Lewis. Hey Ness. I hope things are good. I saw you order three lifelike human male rubber masks. And I was dying to ask what they're for. Was my screenplay guess right? Are you making a movie? Or putting together some kind of performance? Everything's the same as usual with me. But I guess you know that. You see me every day at work. Maybe one day soon we can get that coffee. Lewis. Urgent. Virus caused by Vazbear Entertainment Circuit Board Upload. To James Campbell. From Steven. Hi Jim. We have a virus spreading through our system, and we've traced it back to one of the circuit board scans we performed for Fazbear Entertainment. Are you aware of this issue? Can you send any guidance? Best Steve. To be fair to Fazbear's, I don't think they were the ones that put the corrupted circuit board in the shipment. I think it was most likely Vanny's doing, and you'll see why in a bit. No subject. To Vanessa. From Lewis. Hey Ness. It was really great talking to you today. I think this might be the first time we've actually had an in-person conversation, lol. It's weird. I feel like I know you so well. 
but I guess you don't know so much about me. We're just going to have to fix that. I had no idea you were into iced tea stuff. I always think my job sounds so boring, but you were so interested it made me start thinking, hey, maybe IT is cool after all, or maybe you're just a good listener. Anyway, it was nice to have some in-person time. Maybe we can do it again soon. I still owe you that coffee I keep saying we should get. Louis. Here's a minor inconsistency. We see that Louis is a part of the IT department, while in the retro CDs, Vanessa says he's in the marketing department. Sometimes I talk with Louis. He's in the marketing department. This could easily be explained away as Vanessa misremembering, since she seems dazed and not focused most of the time. No subject. To Vanessa. From Louis. Hey Ness. Is everything okay? I came by your desk to say hi today, and I don't think you even heard me. You had your face so close to the screen. That can't be good for your eyes. I know, I know. I sound like somebody's grandma. I waited for a second to see if you would turn around, but it was like you were in another world. It must be useful to be able to shut out the world and focus like that. I wish I could do it. I thought you were on a conference call at first because I heard voices. Ness, if you ever want to talk about anything, I'm always here for you. I thought your hair looked nice today. The rainbow streaks brighten up the office, and the office is always in desperate need for some brightening. Lewis. Urgent virus to James Campbell from Stephen. Hi Jim, just checking in. I emailed you earlier this week about a virus caused by one of your circuit boards, which is currently spreading throughout our system and causing serious problems. Please contact me ASAP. Thanks. Best, Steve. No subject. To Vanessa. From Lewis. Hey Ness, I'm probably overstepping here, but I feel like I might be the only one in a position to know something's wrong. Because Ness, something really is wrong. You're amazing, I hope you know that. Anybody would be lucky just to know you, and I was willing to believe that you were just writing a screenplay or interested in history. Maybe the book about human dissection and anatomical models of organs were because you're thinking about going to medical school. People have all kinds of interests, right? But when you're actually ordering thumb screws and having them delivered to the office, that just seems like a cry for help. It's like there's two sides of you, and I get that. I feel like that too. Some days I'm unstoppable and some days I'm just stopped. There's the bright happy side of you that orders cupcakes, cookbooks and rainbow hair extensions. And that glittery pink journal with all the pictures of puppies. And that's great. But then there's the side of you that ordered chocolate and flowers for yourself and pretended they were from your boyfriend Brad. I'm not judging you for being lonely. I definitely understand where you're coming from there, but Ness, I also saw what you had written out on that card, flowers for your grave. Why would you have an imaginary boyfriend who is threatening to kill you? You know that's not healthy, right? If you want to talk about anything, please call me, or write back, or just tap me on the shoulder at work. I might not understand exactly what you're going through, but I've been through some tough times of my own. And what got me through was letting people in, not shutting them out. I'm here for you, Ness. I really am. All you have to do is ask. Yours, Lewis. No subject. To Vanessa. From Lewis. I'm sorry if my last email was too much. It's none of my business what you shop for, or how your imaginary boyfriend treats you. Although I'll beat him up if you want me to. I've taken down tougher imaginary guys than Brad. I just care about you, and I want you to know you're not alone. Lewis. No subject. To Vanessa. From Lewis. Hey Ness, you know what? I realized. I'm always asking if you're okay, as if I'm some kind of perfect guy who's always okay and has everything figured out. So I just wanted to say, it's fine if you're not okay. I'm not always okay either. I mean, things are good. I've got a good job, right? People think it's awesome that I work for Fazbear Entertainment. They think I play games all day. Does that happen to you too? I think they get confused because I do computer stuff, but I don't work on the actual games. So whenever people hear I do computer stuff and I work for Fazbear, 
they assume I work on games. Then they're disappointed and I'm disappointed for disappointing them. It's kind of a bummer. I like my job okay though. It's where I met you after all. I guess I just thought I'd know what I was doing with my life by now. I thought if I studied hard and got a good job, everything else would fall into place. Turns out all I learned by studying hard to get a good job was how to study and work. All that time I thought other people were wasting, dating and hanging out, doing nothing. They were learning how to date and hang out. I never really got the hang of that stuff. That's why I'm spending Saturday night writing to a beautiful girl who never writes back. I wish you could write back or talk to me at work. Like the other day, I felt like you really got me that day. I know I don't totally get you, Ness, but I want to, if you would just let me. Lewis Fazbear Entertainment Response Team To Steven Wilson From VA Hi Steve, I'm with Fazbear Entertainment Tech Support. Jim filled me in on your concern about a virus and asked me to take a look at your system. If you can give me access, I'll get started ASAP. Thanks. VA, Senior Technician Support Representative Fazbear Entertainment. VA, huh? Man, Vanessa isn't really that subtle, is she? Forward, Fazbear Entertainment Response Team. To Mark Anna Daniel Raha. From Steven. Hey everybody, Fazbear finally got back to me. Their rep wants system access to access the issue. My contact is Jim Campbell, but I didn't get a heads up from him about this. So I want to double check the credentials, given the whole virus situation. Mark, credentials check out, the email is from Fazbear Tech Support. Steven, great, about time. Response, Fazbear Entertainment Response Team. To VA, Anna, Mark. From Steven. Hi, great to hear from you. It sounds like Jim filled you in. We've been fending this thing off, but so far we haven't been able to get rid of it. Anything you can do to help would be great. Best Steve. RE, Fazbear Entertainment Response Team. To Steven Mark. From Anna. Steve, what is this? Steven. Mark checked the credentials. It's legit. Mark. It's better than legit. VA's got the virus isolated in one location now. Not sure why they're letting it linger in one spot rather than just wiping it out. But whatever. It's off our system. Update to Mark Daniel Raha Steven from Anna. Tech support from Fazbear finally responded. Mark says they are successfully eliminating the virus. Daniel, does this mean we don't need to come into the office? Anna, no, you have to come in. Victory to Anna Steven Raha Daniel from Mark. Guys, we are officially clear. The virus is 100% out of the system. Daniel. Hooray! Well, that was easy. Too easy. No subject. To Vanessa. From Lewis. Ness, I need to talk to you. All clear. To Anna, Mark, Daniel, Stephen. From Raha. Fazbear's tech support really came through. The virus is definitely out of our system. I'm going to check another 10 times or so just to make sure. But I think we're going to be fully operational later today. Anna. Excellent. Steven. I'll get in touch with Jim to tie up loose ends. No subject. To Vanessa. From Lewis. Ness, I guess you're not coming in today, which is too bad. Not just because you brighten up the office, which you do, but because I really need to talk to you. I didn't want to put this in writing, but over the weekend, did you happen to create an IT department email address for yourself and use company credentials to reach out to a subcontractor and access their system? I know that sounds crazy. I mean, why would you even do that? It's just that it really looks like you did that. I'm sure it's a misunderstanding or a glitch or something. Just get back to me as soon as you can, okay? Lewis Shock! She faked her credentials. Now she has access to the company's files. Urgent, unknown command. To Anna, Mark, Daniel, Stephen. From Raha. An unknown user just sent a command. Somebody's using our system to give commands to active animatronics. Daniel, 
Somebody just turned off the safety features. I can't turn them back on. Anna. Raha, you said all traces of the virus were gone. Raha, all traces are gone. I just checked again. Are we sure VA from Fazbear isn't still accessing the system? Mark. I can't tell. I just lost admin access. Now she's in control. Now the animatronics are attacking the customers, like we see in the game. The virus was just a way to get access to the systems. No subject. To Ness. From Lewis. Hey Ness, I haven't heard from you. I guess you probably know that. Does Slash Pleats Plex mean anything to you? Whoever created those false credentials also used them to override security protocols and allow a data packet through after it was flagged as a virus. I know it wasn't you. I just need to hear you say it. Or write it. Whatever. Please just get in touch with me. Lewis. A new challenger has appeared. Slash Pizzaplex. He must be the one Vanessa is talking to in the encrypted files. Like we hear the retro CDs. No subject. To Anna. From Daniel. I'm locked out of my computer. I can't tell what's happening. Sent from my phone. Response. Urgent unknown command. To Raha. Daniel. Anna. Steven. From Mark. I can't shut down the system. No subject. To Raha. From Mark. I'm locked out. Get Jim on the phone right now. To Steven. From Anna. This message has no content. No subject. To Mark. From Raha. I'm locked out too. Urgent. Catastrophic system failure. To Jim. From Steven. Jim. I just tried to call you. Please call me back. This is urgent. No subject. To Vanessa. From Lewis. Ness. Please just let me know you're okay. There's a package here for you. From a fabric company. Are you making a costume? Yours, Lewis. Fourth quarter transfers slash layoffs. To Brenda Tanka. From Stanley Hauser. Brenda. Attached is the list of fourth Q transfers and layoffs. Stan. Attachment. Internal transfers. Christy B. Marketing to Social Media Content Management Restructuring Paul G. Office Administration Executive Administration Promotion Betty M. Internship Program to Development Permanent Hire Timothy M. Internship Program to Social Media Content Management Permanent Hire Vanessa A. Security to Security Transfer Request Layoffs Diana L. Marketing Restructuring Maria A. Marketing. Restructuring. She did her job. Now she's sent to the Mega Pizza Plex. Slash Pizza Plex sends an email with a virus attached to it. The virus most likely being Malhair taking over the IT department of the Fazbear Funtime service and firing a lot of people from it. James Campbell is even let go. While Vanessa took care of the company that makes the AR robots, Slash Pizzaplex and Malhair shuts down the Fazbear Funtime service. This email also tells us that the events of FNAF AR happens in September. So who is Slash Pizzaplex? Simple. Since Vanessa is talking with someone that can hack systems and have encrypted conversations, and the hacker has a connection to the Pizzaplex, it's pretty clear he's patient 46, aka Gregory. So what was Malhair's plan with the Fazbear Funtime service? It's pretty clear that he wanted the animatronics to attack the customers. But why? Well, I think it's for harvesting remnant. So when an animatronic kills someone, light and dark remnant is produced. And then we, the player, collect the remnant and put them in the animatronics we have, like the glitched email tells us. So, Malhair wants remnant-fueled animatronics to either cause chaos or use them for burn trap or possibly the creation of the blob, which would mean that this thing is many remnant-fueled robots merged together. It's either of the three. Then when Malhair is done, he gets Vanessa and Greg to shut down the Fazbear Funtime service and fires or possibly kills everyone. Then Greg hacks the Pixaplex systems to hire Vanessa to the position of security guard at the Pixaplex. The game was clearly supposed to bridge the gap between help wanted and security breach, showing us how Vanessa goes from IT to security guard and showing the connection to Vanessa and the encrypted conversations with Greg. And it technically did its job. Sure the game is dead and likely incomplete, 
but at the time before the release of Security Breach, it gave us a lot of hints and helpful lore. This game gave us the name of the protagonist of Help Wanted, and teased us with Vanny's costume. And it also gave us the first hint of Patient 46. So yeah, the game might be dead, but I think it did its job. So anyways, if you liked it, please like, subscribe, all that jazz, and uh, yeah, see you on the flip side.